So that way, uh, uh, it is not that he is overtly conscious of his aim. The aim, it may be there deep in his soul, but the human will is there, he may be incarnate, the human will is there, and that human will, from that human will, it has to come out slowly. And that is the whole process here. Yes, in the case of Savitri also, more or less, the same thing happens also. Yes, in fact, that is what we will see in the case of Savitri also. Yes, so basically, I think each location, each ashram, each hermitage group has its own spiritual character. Yes, to give a very rough example, I don't know whether it is appropriate or not, you take Raman Masi Ashram, you go to the Rishikesh Ashram, you go to this Ashram, you go to that Ashram. They have a very different uh, setup. Uh, they are, they are exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. They are located in a very peculiar kind of Not world. only peculiar, their uh, 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 aspiration, their spiritual quality, uh, they are different altogether from place to place, they are changing. So it is not the same thing throughout, uniformly the same thing. Yes, sir. Yeah. So then. What would be the quality of, let's say, Pondicherry Sir, of Sri Aurobindo Ashram? <laughs> uh, what would what would you have to say for that? My God, <laughs> with the ocean and everything. Uh, quality of Sri Aurobindo Ashram. It is a place which has been fixed. Go to Pondicherry yes, sir. by the divine himself. So the divine word is already there. Go to Pondicherry. Yes, it is already present there. Yes, it is only a question of flowering up. Yes, flowering up, you see. Mm -hmm. Of all the thousand pieces and all that. It is not for just political reasons that uh, he was saying. Absolutely, sir. It, it has to be the destined uh, yeah. place, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So sport. that is the destined place also, you see. Yes, so go to Pondicherry. And then uh, if you go in terms of certain historical facts of uh, the struggle for power during the colonial days between the French and the uh, British. So the entire the East and West uh, intersected. No, therefore, why the Pondicherry was sort of kept away from the British, as if there is some kind of divine plan right. that okay, this is the place, this is going to happen, this is where Mother will come. See. <laughs> It is not in that sense, but that is how this automatically happens. Right, in that sense, uh, the French uh, got the help from Tipu Sultan right, in the battle. Okay. And therefore, these pockets uh, could remain with the French people. You see. So, to a certain extent, if you want, some credit should go to Tipu Sultan also. Right, <laughs> it is not that. It gets arranged automatically. Right, so, if you are talking about Pondicherry, Go to Pondicherry, there is a divine command already there. This is the place. Right, so what are the physical attributes of this place which kind of are indicative of Sri spirit in some way? Yeah. What would be those attributes? I mean, it's a very unique spot. Uh, yes. Right next to the it, ocean. It is, it is. In uh, urban houses. Yeah. Well, that's all right. It is said that the place where the present Sri Ashram is located at that place was the ashram of Rishi Agastya. Rishi Agastya, the ashram was at that, right, place, at that, spot, at that place. So, the spiritual basis, spiritual adhara, spiritual foundation for carrying on the work right, is already there. Right, if uh, I had to make a foolish uh, suggestion, yes, hazard a kind of a guess, I will uh, say that possibly in his Vedic birth, Shemandu himself was Rishi Agastya. It is possible. Right. You could say that. So he's coming back to his own house, you see, is right. uh, sort of natural also. And uh, the suggestion could be rationalized, could be supported by saying that Rishi Agastya went to the point in his spiritual pursuit towards physical transformation. Right, in one of the Vedic uh, utterances, he, it is said that he, rather he, he says, 
I have hung my physical body like a piece of cloth in front of this sun. Okay, sir. What's the exact, uh, if you remember the... No, shloka, I would not. Okay, sir. But I have hung my uh, physical, body. physical body in front of sun, you see. It's amazing, sir. Now, now that this is such a clear uh, a indication, picture, yes. you see, in front of the sun. Sun is a symbol of the supernatural light and force. Right, sir. And uh, I am exposing my physical body to that. So that uh, spiritual realization was always there to that point, but it was too early for things to happen on a larger collective level. Basically, the thrust is, it is not one single Rishi Agastya who is going to count or matter. It's the whole humanity's cloth which has to the whole be put process there, evolution. The there has to be a certain collective, I will not say whole humanity, I don't know, but uh, a, a major part of collective yes, should be ready to, to be the, enter into that uh, phase of life, you see, yes, phase of life. That is important, you see. So that has taken long centuries and then in that process things got processed, you can see that, you see. So that way what had chosen, well, it is there already, you see. Yes, that spiritual foundation is already there in the sense. In fact, uh, um, uh, in the Veda, uh, uh, Agastya seems, he said that I have been digging deep and deep, Kanana, I have been digging deep and deep for the foundation in matter of the spirit. Yes, sir. I can discover spirit in matter and establish spirit in matter, digging. And exactly that uh, poem is there by Shri Amandu. Yes, God's Veda. God's liver, you see. He has been carrying on that God's liver, you see. Yes, so that way, I mean, uh, uh, each ashram has its own character, its own uh, nature. So, uh, although Savitri is going from place to place, ashramas and Arivata, the whole thing is there, you don't say that it is uniformly the same flat piece. It is not, not in the modern sense of globalization, that everywhere you yes. put the computer on and you get the same click. Everywhere like the same McDonald's, same you image, you see. everywhere you have the same McDonald's. No, it is not that, exactly. Yes. <laughs> it is not the same thing, exactly, you see. It's not the so, same thing, you see. But uh, the idea is, sir, uh, I would like to make you, uh, if you could make two comments, yeah. also about the physical attributes of this place. How physically it's unique uh, or uh, kind of, you, you could say, distinct uh, for a work like this. I mean, if you want to hazard a guess on, on, on that count. We can make an immediate distinction. Yes, sir. In the sense that traditionally, throughout the ages, Long, long, long ages, the entire tapasya was done in the Himalayan regions, right, sir. in the mountains, caves, uh, right, in the isolated places. Right, sir. Here, right, sir. in the midst of life, right, tropical life, right, sir. because all life, if it has to be yoga, then it has to be in life here, not uh, in the isolation of the Himalayas and peaks of the air. So throbbing uh, life, yeah. where uh, it's kind of an international life, where the east and west life, western life. In fact, that decision would not even arise. Right, sir. In fact, that is an artificial decision, east and west. It is, it is a certain type of uh, human element. You are built up in a certain manner. Each individual has his own sabhava. Each nation has its own sabhava, its own right. character, its own stamp its own uh, default reading, <laughs> what you want to call it, you see. Right, now, all these are aspects of divine manifestation and they have to find, each of them has to find its divine element and divine quality in expression right, here. So, it's not that only the Indians will get transformed. Then it is not a complete transformation yes, sir, no, at no, all. That's not there. I was just saying, it's just a meeting point also. Wherein uh, 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 an international the, meeting yeah. point kind of a situation, yeah. whereby uh, uh, France as a representative of the Western uh, development yeah. uh, adds up to the kind of uh, progress which the East has made. See, the, the progress is uh, another matter. You see, for instance, now our general character is, the Indian character is to uh, ignore the material aspect of life right, sir. and more pursue towards the spiritual part of it. Right, sir. So that way, it is a one-sided effort. Our uh, religious ceremonies, uh, like devotionalism, temples, what, yes, yes, go, 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 like that. But then what happens to matter? Right, when it comes to the material creation, what happens? Is that to be rejected? 
Now, if you see, for instance, uh, the modern uh, American architectures or uh, the, the French paintings right. or German music or Vienna right. houses of music and all that. See, these are the qualities of spirit and they have to find full fulfillment. And it is for that purpose all these elements had to spiritually come together, not necessarily physically. Right. Right. Not necessarily physically, spiritually had to come together. Right. So, uh, it is not uh, uh, that only this, only that, only that, you see. Right. Uh, the attention to details on a material plane, organization of material life is equally important. But material life for what? So that the powers of the spirit can really play their role in a significant manner. If matter is not prepared, how can the spirit also work there? Right. So, preparation of material base is a contribution of the modern society. Modern does not mean Indian, but uh, urban society. Uh, it can be uh, Europe, it can be America, it can be modern society. So, fine, sir, maybe now we can move on to the. Yeah. Yeah, basically, uh, in fact, it is this dilemma which Savitri is going to, uh, to Savitri is going to resolve also, you see, right, in sir. certain sense. You see. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, these lines are very important. Thanks to grace, solidity, trash, he came. See, the poet is already preparing us for the next canto. Right, sir. Exactly. That's what I po wanted to point out. Yeah, yes, sir. he is already yes, preparing sir. for this canto, you see. Yes, sir. What does he mean by this? Where man was a passerby towards human scenes. Yeah. What does he mean by this? this these are very uh, kind of uh, lines which uh, stand out among the other lines which were there in the... Yeah, basically it means that uh, there were hardly human beings there around. Okay, sir. You were just a passerby. Right, sir. In words, it is the uh, bareness of nature which, which is, is being there. shown there. Right, sir. Our soul in nature's vastness strove to live and call for help to ensure invisible powers overwhelmed by the immensity of his world and unaware of his own infinity. That is what man, man is, is a passerby. Yes, sir. See, see, this is exactly what we had. Uh, uh, our our uh, four ashramas of, you know, of uh, uh, traditional life. Right. You know, we got uh, first the brahmacharya, the uh, uh, education and things like that. Then you got grahastha ashrama, man life. Right, then you go to forest. Vanaprastha. This is the scene of Vanaprastha. Right, sir. Vanaprastha. Vanaprastha means you retire from active life. It does not mean that you are totally still disconnected from life. These were people who were uh, conscious of the problems of life and they would give proper advice to the present rulers. Right, sir. You would retire to the life. But uh, uh, in a difficulty, they would be approached and they would give the advice also. Yes, they would use the benefit of the solitude which they Solitude would and tapasya, uh, their yes, uh, realization, their knowledge, all the things yes. they were part of. That is how the society became uh, a wholesome society. Enriched it, by this. I mean, they didn't keep on dragging on the kingdom or life and that and grab, 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 grab. Right. It's not a, finished. My part of this life is, is over. Now I must go that and do that people do. Right, the stage comes later on. Even this is abundant. The right, spiritual sir. life. I must say the pure absolute sannyasa. Not even this of company of the, not even that does it say. You become totally then detached from everything and what remains is only that soul. Right. Alone. You see. So these were the four stages through which uh, the rich life went around in those days. So Savitri is now seeing that Vanapastha part yes, of the life here. And in fact it is uh, uh, Dimasena is in the Vana. Vana means uh, forest, you see. She uh, is entering in that place, you see. Now, see, although the you know, frames are missing, a lot of frames are missing, but we can say that in the video, we can sort of insert, Savitri has gone to Shelva Forest. She did stay for a few weeks there. 
I'm in the company of the Rishis, I'm in the company of all those people there. Yes. When she was going from place to place, palaces, kingdom, she was staying overnight here, there, like that, yes. and staying like that, you see. Yes. It's not that the, the constantly traveling, 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 yes. traveling. It's not that, you see. Yes. Because she wants to meet and interact with people and see what is what, you see. Yes. So she must have definitely stayed in the forest for a few days at least, you see. And then Satyavala and Savitri met there. And then they decided to be together and all that thing, you see. Right. So, whereas uh, in Shevan Rudra Epic, the turn is uh, different. It is, uh, uh, in a way of saying, it is love at first sight, matter is over, and uh, let's proceed, you see. <laughs> but those friends are there. Right, sir, it's uh, implied. Yeah, yeah, you see. Yes, yeah. Because a lot of preparation has gone into that hour and yes. that uh, destined spot. Yes, yes. Even her journey yes. has been from that angle, kind of a, been a preparation to lead her to that uh, destined spot. Yeah, moment of time and yes, uh, so location. Yeah. As you said, that has also been a gradual thing, wherein yes. it's not been like from a, a random sequence of uh, different practitioners she yeah. met. Yeah. So it's been a specific sequence yeah. from the yeah. palaces yeah. to. Yeah. Uh, Urban area. No, yeah, urban the, the forest. See, I mean, that, that this happens to be one description. While she's traveling through those uh, 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 lands or rishis and all that thing, every time she's going from one region to another, she must be staying there for a couple of days there, you see. Okay, in this ashram, in this ashram, in this ashram, in this ashram. Right. Like that. So it's a very prepared uh, thing. Yeah, it's and natural even, also. Yes. Yeah. Even the time is very prepared. Yeah, yeah. It takes a whole year of maturity. Yeah, yeah. So it is not that far constantly she was traveling at the rate of uh, maybe 80 km. Yes, she was not traveling for the sake 50, of traveling. 50, 50, 50 yes. kilometers per hour every day. She's not traveling like that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So from that angle, I mean, uh, it is, uh, it is. So, in the previous canto, he has already introduced us to love. Love in the wilderness met yes. Savitri. Yes, and from this point onward, now the description of love for the Satyavan begins. But of course, without telling that to begin with, first he gives the journey of Savitri herself yes, to start with. And we have got uh, a wonderful line to opening to the second canto, you see. All she remembered on this day of fate. This is a most puzzling line. Okay, sir. Mm-hmm. What do you see? All she remembered on this day of fate. Yeah. So what, what is the all which she needs to remember? What, what is she... that all? This is a memory. All she remembered. On this day of fate, it is it uh, the specific thing which her father had given her as the mantra. No, father now is not that. No, this is no question of all. See, it's not a question of remembering. Mantra has already sunk in her soul. Right, sir. So, so uh, is it is it all she remembered would all imply all the previous births which she has uh, taken? Something has uh, suddenly awakened in her, right, sir. unconsciously or whatever you call it. The, the whole place is charged with that power, that awful power. All her psychic memories have Every, suddenly... It has suddenly wakened up. Like, exactly, the psychic memory has wakened up in her, right, sir. like a memory. And therefore, she is remembering. Oh, yeah. She, you know that uh, in the case of the mother, no, when she was coming from uh, uh, Paris to Pondicherry, yes, the first person, the, the ship had sought, uh, uh, had harbored at Cairo. Yes, and then the mother had visited the uh, museum there. Yes, and she remembered. Uh, you remember that thing. Yes, and then uh, she saw one kum there. Yes. And then she, oh, this is the kum I was using. <laughs> She said, this is the kum I was using in the previous, previous birth of the parallel, you see. Right, sir. So that, that, all she remembered in that sense, you see. Yeah, because this is the day of fate and... Uh, now, yeah, see, then uh, all she remembered. Now, the, here, the, uh, in the immediate context, we have to see from the point of view of what we have got 
in the previous canto, the state meeting place. Right, sir. And uh, it means that it is this place which she sees here, she has seen long ago. So which means this has been her place of fate even previously. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All she, this is pertaining, I think, basically to the place, you see. Uh, Shiva, Nirakanta, then you get a, a lot of transformation guarding the whole place and all that, you see. Now, uh, uh, this is all she remembered. It is here something that happened earlier. So again, that, like. Uh, in, in fact, uh, you know, uh, 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 in the previous canto, he was. Here were disclosed to her the mystic codes 101.21. Yes, sir. Here were disclosed to her the mystic codes, the lurking doors of beauty and surprise, the wings that murmur in the golden house, the temple of sweetness and the fiery eye. So, this is all she remembered. Right, sir. A stranger is rather than later on, you see. Right, sir. Perhaps. Even this also could be a stranger love in the wilderness mission. Perhaps this also she remembered. Right, sir. Earlier also she had met. Right, sir. And she, this also she is remembering also. Which, which means earlier also it could be the place yes. of love for her. Yes, of course. Yes, yeah. All she remembered. Now, another important uh, uh, the phrase here is all she remembered is one part of it. This day of fate. On this day of fate. Now, on this day, in a way, it is clear. It is the day on which Satyavan and Savitri are going to meet. It is on this day, the she has remembered the entire past. Right, sir. Of that thing. Now, of fate. Right, sir. Now, this day of fate means what? Right, sir. Which means, after uh, possibly their wrong preparation and all that, by the fate. It yeah. is the day on which fate is moving towards a certain resolution. Yeah. And fate being a soul's opportunity. Yeah. This is the moment when that opportunity is to be seized. Yes. Possibly that there'll be a deeper uh, angle to uh, fate. No, the, the, I, I mean I don't know. Well, that is of course possible. Now, is it the meeting, earlier meetings that she is remembering? With the uh, Satyavan uh, in the previous uh, lives, uh, uh, uh. or the whole place and all that thing. So, uh, I mean, specifically Satyavan, uh, she would have met earlier uh, in kind of a situation. Yeah. And in uh, the previous lives. In the previous lives. Of course, yeah. And uh, I mean that would be difficult to say because uh, in the <laughs> sense, yeah. would be said that uh, their meeting has to be very purposeful. Yes. Even if they earlier had meetings. Yeah. Still, that would have led to some form of advance for the whole earth. Yeah. I mean, these meetings cannot happen casually. Yeah. Or yeah. Uh, yeah. they cannot come about just for the sake of love. Yeah. They also have to come for the sake of earth in that sense. Yes, of course. Yeah. So, I mean, to think that one also actually needs uh, some context in maybe what form the advance could have happened previously. Yeah. Yeah. 